Who's going by this? Oh, I got for those uh, I might even say this is because of that's it. I'm walking that one. Up. We're rolling whenever I'm ready. You are? Yeah, I'll switch with you if you don't want to sit there. No, I don't want to be up on the front row. All meeting in order. Well, I have a pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call. Zuber? Here. Bruner? Here. Farnham? Here. Helsley? Here. Patrick? Here. Voigt? Here. Jens? Here. Public comment? Hearing none. For discussion and action on repairs of the courthouse road. Can I, start, can I say something? Sure. Can I, start that? I have a sample of pictures from the project, Andy. Um, there's about 14 of them in here. And we now have those uploaded and they are available on the county's website right on the front page. So you can just click on them and you see the whole shooting match. Yeah, it's on a courthouse roof. You can't miss it. And uh, so there's, there's nothing for you to download or upload. They're just right there. And what I what I put together is a sampling. I, I've looked through all of them, and it doesn't make a difference what whether it's north, south, east, or west. They all look like that. And uh, so damage is all. It's over. all. It's everywhere. Yes. Yes. And well, uh, not damaged, just old, isn't it? Just yeah. mainly old. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Wore out. Yeah. Wore out. So carry duration would be a better. Word. That's what I wanted to let everybody. Okay, Andy. I had uh, uh, Arnie hadn't gotten back. I called, left a message for him. I don't know if he's busy or gone or what. But um, these pictures were taken by. Uh, Midland Engineering, we had a company come in and they got a, we got a lift and they got up and took all these pictures. And after I got them, I was a little, wasn't quite sure which direction we should go. They, they suggested we the entire road. Um, so I got a hold of Arnie Johnson, who was, I don't know if for people out there, that he was the one that's pretty instrumental. And uh, it's uh, Wiss, Jenny, Elsner and Associates, and they were the engineers that did the bell tower restoration, were in charge of the bell tower restoration. So I, I talked to him, forwarded the pictures to him. He got back to me. He said, yes, this, the roof at some point needs to be completely redone. He said there's a couple different ways to go about it. He thinks probably because of the amount of engineering that needs to be done, it couldn't, you couldn't do the entire thing now, number one. Number two, you need to figure out how to pay for the entire thing. So he said, well, what you can do is a two to five year band-aid, which they'll come in with a, a, a flexible bituminous um, kind of rubberized adhesive material that they put over the holes in the valleys and in the holes in the, a lot of the, um, the metal work is leaking, the gutters are leaking, back up. I don't know if any of you caught it during the winter, but the amount of icicles hanging behind the gutters this winter, and that's what's happening. The water's actually running behind the gutters because it's leaking through them. Um, he said the thing to do, and, and most of the metal work, he said the slate part is not extremely bad. That, that can be patched. He said the metal work is where your major problems are, and that's wore out and needs to be replaced. <clears throat> So he said, if we can go in with this, with this patch, that'll buy us somewhere between two to five years where we can put together a plan, get an engineering company to come in, engineer what needs to be done, and put a plan together to replace the roof on the court. And that's the roof between the bell tower and the, and the, uh, the main structure of the courthouse. So, he gave me a couple figures, and I, I really wanted to verify those with him. One of them was 
and I, I almost hate to be quoted on this because I asked him, he said, normally it's 50, 40 to $50 per square foot for roof replacement. That's uh, for the slate replacement. I said, did that include the, the copper, or the, not copper, the um, no. gutters? And, and he said, he, he goes, I'm not real sure whether that was inclusive of that or not, which is a big, that's a big difference there because I, I, I could conceivably see that being about as much as if that doesn't include it being about that much too. And I don't know. That's a little bit beyond. I'm amazed at something like what's that? They're all gutters. What's that? They're, built they're all gutters. yeah. They're all built in gutters. That's a pretty complicated system up there. So that's kind of what we're looking at at this point. I suggested at the study session Monday that well, and that I just made those. That's what it's out there. And, <coughs> now we were hoping to have a something from something from Arnie to, to get you a better idea what this was going to exactly what it's going to cost. But Maybe for a total replacement at some point. Yeah. He said definitely plan on the total replacement. He said to do the patchwork would be somewhere between. He said around ten thousand dollars for the engineering, and some and, and the entire project would run somewhere from. Could be forty to sixty thousand to buy us two to five years, and that's what we're looking at. Versus a half a million to a million, from half over, need, yeah, over a half a million dollars to a re total replacement. The total replacement. What we were kind of thinking was, well, we can't do the total replacement yet. Right. We need to buy the time, and we don't have the time this year. And this well, right. Right. And I asked, I said, you know, if, if if there it is, it's okay. If, this is one if we did have the money, I said we, we, he goes. It, it's not possible to get the engineering done in that amount of time because this we're, it's July now for the whole project. For the whole project, he goes. You, we, you need to get. We need whoever he goes and he'll I mean, whatever process we need to do to get an engineering firm to get down here and, and, and tell us what needs to be done. That's what is. I think get the get the lead stop first, mm -hmm. and then get somebody to engineer what needs to be done. The next step gives us a pretty good, a, a good, concrete idea of what it's going to cost to have that. And, and find project. out if we have to, if, if we're bound by some kind of rule or law that since this is, and if this is a historical, sure. uh, do, is there a certain architectural style or a cost that we have to? Uh, we checked on a lot on, on the other hand. Okay. This is on the register of historic sites, but it is not a site that they tell you what to do. So if, if there was a two or three hundred thousand dollars difference in material, rather slate versus a metal roof or standing seam or something like that, then we we would have the we would have the right to do that without yeah. well we might have a right, but I would suggest before we do anything like that, we have an advisory committee tell us if that's what they think needs to be done. And that means like the, the people in the community. Yeah. So how about the, the list? Of, I got a list okay. of similar to the bell tower. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a list of the process all the way through on that. Yeah. And that would be important as far as the process mm. of funding also. Yeah. Right. Yes. We need to take. I mean, that it kind of all doves tails together. To get some community community involvement, mm, in, input, input of what what the community wants to do. It's their it's their building. So it's kind of a two stage kind of deal. Well, actually three: engineering for the repair or band aid, and then forming the group or organization to see how we do it, and then more engineering, and then voila. So what we're looking for today is a process to go forward on about eight thousand dollars, Carl. Well, no, oh, I understood. Sixty would include the engineer. Sixty would include the engineer. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it's eighty thousand dollars. I'm hoping it's more like fifty or sixty. Because I would love that. I would love that too, Jeff. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
it seems like most of the time when you're dealing we with issues like that, it, you know, right. it's like a 15% overage. Because when you get up there and you start to do stuff, and even if they're trying to reconstruct some alleys or fix those, you got you know, just. But I don't want it in the out that we're expecting that because then that's what we'll get. Yeah. Here, Alan. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we need to stick with the forty to sixty. Do we need to put a cap on it? Is that is that the we'll deal with it? Because if they put, if they it would have been. That yeah. We're we expecting it to be eighty. I guarantee you, that's what we're going to get. Do like that. Right now, I don't think that, but you can go with any. Right. We don't know. We don't have enough information to do that right now. We don't. And I mean, maybe there's something they could do even better. I don't know. Okay, in talking to Arnie, did he rec have any recommendations on uh, companies? Companies. Yeah, he, he had you some. The, there's a one person. His name's Rich Coskell, that works there at Wiscani, and he's the slate roof guy. And he uh, he said we just they just I think last year got done doing a similar s situation to Ewing Cultural Center in Bloomington, Illinois, and. This guy worked real close with a company called Crylene Roofing, um, and basically, what they the same type of thing. They went in and uh, evaluated the roof, found he said an almost identical situation to what we've got here. And what they did is, this guy works with this roofing contractor quite a bit, um, and he said they they go up and. Pretty much new, you know, if Valley had a hole, you put some of this uh, material in it to, to patch that. Um, he said they would constantly take, he goes, with your cam phone camera, you can take a picture and email it to him. He can immediately write back and say, you know, or email back and say, you know, yeah, here's what I want you to do to that. And he said they just worked back and forth really well together. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't, you know, there were certain things that they would maybe think that they needed to do. And he said, no, this is, this is a temporary patch. We're not going to go with that instead. Now, and I want to uh, stress that to him, too, that I don't want to go overboard on this. I want it to be sound, but I don't want to go overboard on this part, given the fact that we're going to tear it out at some point and, and redo it. So, but but you do need to get some. I mean, you, you, who's been up in the attic lately? Oh, not lately, but I mean, there's. Yeah. There's some water damage. There's certainly holes leaking. And he said the, roof, the slate part's um, relatively easy to fix. You may make a little hook tool. You get up and you cut the one out and you slide a new one in. We've got some slates. It's interesting. When I was up there, there's a lot of, there's an enormous amount of gray slate up there. Right. Was, where's the back? Well, isn't this painted? Uh, in this red slate painted red? No, it's, it's a red slate. It's a red slate. Okay. The one guy, Mortensen, was that on a jail down there when they came? It was. Yeah. It was where they took the slate roof off of that and put a rubber roof yeah. down at the jail. I think it was great. Yeah, you're right. I know we can trade it. <laughs> so you've got some people to contact. I mean, it's like we're going to have to go hunting all over. Yeah. So we can maybe see how if we can move this long because before long it's going to be falling. That's right. That's which is why we're having a meeting right. today. I'm I'm right. thinking we need to give the building committee the okay to do some things that uh, within parameters like hire. Yeah, you got to get an engineer. If that's what we need to hire anything. them to cut, to to overlook the engineering. But he thought his engineering part would be around ten thousand dollars, which to me after. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. <laughs> I, I don't think. Um, and he's, I don't know who, how many of you talked to him. He's a real genuine guy, a Paris guy. He seems interested in, in maintaining the building. Um, and at the tail end of that project, I was on the board, and I, you know we met with him mm -hmm. two or three times, and he's very good. Yeah. I was very impressed with him. He was. Okay. Um, so I, anyway, I think. When I, con I I left a message for him to call me back, um, and I said, you know, I, I think we'll probably we're looking at probably going with your firm. We have, well, I said we have a meeting on Wednesday, but probably going with your firm to give us some direction of what we need to do and and, and work with this firm to accomplish that at this point. I don't. I think it's not too early to get an advisory committee together to you and, and start on. We're looking at three or four years down the road. It may 
take that long to. Mm -hmm. I'll give this list to you. These are ones that was on the yeah. other committee, and I don't mean you have to use them. Okay. That was. So would this board want to give, make a motion that the building committee can hire an engineer? Mr. Chairman, I move that the building committee be authorized to move forward <coughs> with the general idea of putting a, what would you call an interim repair, repair of the roof to hire an engineer and to do what's necessary to get project underway and completed as soon as possible. Is that okay? I second that. Did you read that motion back? Yeah, after I watch the tape, I'll reread that back. Okay. <laughs> well, we have a motion to okay the building committee <coughs> to hire whatever it takes to get the roof repaired. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Then, Mr. Chairman, I think further what we should do is authorize the building committee to pursue a long-term permanent solution to the roof, which might include, or to include, forming an advisory committee and looking for funding and whatever is necessary to make that happen. And that way we're on the record is... is yeah. mm -hmm. Did you get a second on that? We have a motion and a second. Have the advisory committee pursue the permanent fixtures plus an advisory board to help with finding funds if possible. The solution. And not just funds, but the to say that they want this to stay like it is. Yeah, the architectural, yeah, the, ar right. the architectural right. character right. to advise us on architectural character. Mm -hmm. Could I ask you to make that motion at a different meeting because it's not on the agenda that I'm aware of? Maybe it is. Discuss action. Discussion action on the repairs of the courthouse road. Okay, you're good. Just check. No, that's fine. Okay. You're, you're, sure you're good. good. It's on there then. All right. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Is there anything else pertaining to the roof? If not, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. First of all, I want to thank you, Andy, for doing all this background, yes. all this work on this. Yeah. Yes, very much. A lot of work. I'll make that motion, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I'll second that. Our motion is second adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed?